What's up everyone, this is ANR Gaming and this video we are going to be talking about how to get Gabrielle, the strongest hero in all of the game for free. So this is the fastest method to do it. Uh, personally, we have someone in our uh, club that got, got her in 12 hours by doing this. They did refreshes on their stamina, but they got it super fast. So um, don't worry, as long as you just kind of follow along with the general strategy, uh, you'll be able to get her pretty quick. And she is incredibly good, literally the best character in the game as of right now. So you really want to get her. So first you're gonna go to the war room over here. This is kind of just the basis of how it works. You see these two characters here. Um, so Fabrice and, and Gabrielle. Uh, Fabrice is going to be the first character that you have to get before you get Gabrielle. Now, as you see here, Bernice, that character right there, that's the only one that is character specific for, to get Fabrice. So you do have to have that one particular character. And you want to level her up right there where you see four highlighted spots. She has to be to Ascension level four, which means that she needs to be level 30 to get that so you have to level her up to 30 and get ascension level four you also have to do the same for the other three matching elements it this one specifically or i'm sorry these three specifically they don't have to be one particular person like the other one does they can be anyone that matches that element type so just make sure that you pick three stars that you have multiple copies of we'll talk a little bit about that uh, in just a few minutes, but make sure that you're not picking, you know, like a four star accidentally or something like that. And uh, so once you do that, you fuse them all together and you get Fabrice and then you come over here to Gabby and this is where you get Gabby. So obviously Fabrice is required and keep in mind that these characters are consumed once you use them. Once you fuse, those characters are gone. So once you fuse Fabrice and another three, you're going to get rid of them and you're going to have Gabby. Um, that she's all that's going to be left standing when it's all said and done. So now it's important to note that with these ones, you see they have to be Ascension level five, not four, but five. And that means that they have to be to character level 40, right? And once again, you have to pick Fabrice and then three other characters of any kind as or any particular star rating, whatever, as long as they match those element types. Now, um, one important thing to note here is that you don't want to go for Gabby too early because you're not going to have the ability to farm for her uh, appropriately. One of those things is the wave runners. You're going to need to get waves in order to get these characters ascension up as I just showed you. Um, you want to make sure that you use the characters like I mentioned the three stars only for the other characters that you can pick anything from pick characters that you have lots of copies of as you can see right here you know any of these kind of guys will be good especially characters that come up on ripples so that way you can get more of them anytime you want but generally if you're pulling a decent amount which it's honestly fairly easy to pull in this game early um, just you'll have ample amounts of at least someone from every single type so and it doesn't matter if you use the same one to get Fabrice as you're going to be using to get uh, Gabby, right? You're just going to need two copies of them because, like I said, they're consumed each time. So make sure that you do that. Pay attention to who you're picking. Set them aside. And now you got to get ready to farm them, right? So the fastest method to farm them up, you got to go over to the story mode. And you're going to be going to practice stages. That's what's going to get you the uh, level up the quickest. I've already talked about this in a separate video on how to level up very fast, but that's what you have to do. I already have a multi-battle running here, but basically um, what you do in this scenario is you want to have, oh, actually, I'll, you know, I'll show you that in a, a minute or two whenever that one's done. But first, let's, let's talk about the waves. So the waves, you come over here and you find whichever wave you need, make sure that you are on a tier that at least offers orange, right? So the epic uh, rarity. If you if you are not there yet, don't bother farming yet. You know, it's another like uh, point where basically you know where you're ready to start farming. You have to be able to, on multi-battle, be able to complete the level six, which is where you get that first orange rarity accessibility. You want to be able to beat that on multi-battle, no problem, okay? Because you're going to be running those in the background a lot, right? And um, 
you want to make sure also that you're farming the it's going to be separated by days so you have to be you know aware of what days you're going to be farming what set aside lots of stamina for it because you're going to need lots of stamina because the two things that you're going to be going for is waves and experience so let me go ahead and close out of this one real quick and we'll talk about leveling up for experience so right here like i uh, alluded to before you have the practice stages you want to go to your top practice stage and you want to get one character as your lead. If you really can't do it with one, um, go ahead and put in two and then slot in three characters you want to level. But you should be able to do it with either Mona or Li Lang. Um, and you want to put the Hades set on them for lifesteal, the four piece Hades set. And then you can slot in three characters that you're gonna need, four, or I'm sorry, four characters if you're doing it with one carry. And you want to level those characters up as fast as possible. Just keep them running on multi-battle and uh, you know everything will be totally fine. But it's important to note that you you know you want to get in as many people as you possibly can per run, so that way you're not wasting as much stamina. So if you can get four people in, ideally let it run that. But always be having that on going on in the background, and always be maximizing your stamina. Make sure that for bounties you're trying to pull stamina, and uh, make sure that you're going to your shop and grabbing as much stamina as you can. Use the ones that you get from achievements and everything like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what you got to do. So once you have a sufficient amount of waves and um, you have your characters for the right experience, you know, like I mentioned before, you just have to go ahead and bring up those first four up to 30 and then ascension level three, I'm sorry, four. <laughs> and then you got to bring up your next four once you have Fabrice. So Fabrice included in that next four, you got to bring them up to level 40. And then you're going to need Ascension level five. Okay. So as long as you do that, you should be okay. Gabby, as I just showed you, extremely good character, best character in the game. Make sure that you prioritize her. Just make sure that you don't do it too early. Like I said, you know you're going to be ready whenever you have the Hades set which you get from clearing chapter 9 and whenever you can comfortably farm your waves on level 6 for the appropriate elements in multi battle without any issue that's whenever you're ready to start farming and then de dedicate all the stamina you have to farming for Gabby because you want to get her ASAP all right, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully that was clear. If it wasn't, I apologize. If there's anything else that you need me to clear up for you, just mention it in the comments and I will try to do so. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for listening. Really appreciate it. See you next time.